A Portland woman says a hospital security guard used excessive force in taking her to the ground at a security checkpoint. This video shows part of that fight at Randall Children's Hospital. Legacy Health says it's a troubling incident that it is now investigating. And the fight also raises questions about the public's expectations for private security forces. For context, this also comes after a man shot and killed a security guard inside a Legacy Hospital less than a year ago. Her own Evan Watson joins us tonight with more on this. Evan. Well, Stephanie, I talked with Desiree Turner, the woman in the video who said she went to the hospital to see her nephew's new baby. And it's important to note the video starts partway through this altercation. We don't see everything that led up to it, but we know an argument over a security check of Turner's bag turned violent, prompting new questions about private security and how situations like this should be handled. Ooh, ooh, happy birthday. Desiree Turner and her three year old daughter went to Randall Children's Hospital to welcome a new family member but they didn't make it past security. Hey, don't pull it hell, hey! A legacy security guard wrestled her to the ground after an argument over checking her bag. Let her go! He was already using so much excessive force. I just didn't know his limits, and that was scary in that moment. Irie Streeter shot the video as she was going through security herself. I feel like it was unneeded, um, very inappropriate. I think things could have went a lot smoother. Turner says the security guard wanted to take her bag to check it, and she asked to empty her bag herself. Then her daughter ran off down the hallway. I went to go get her. I said, I'm just going to get my baby. Get out of my way. And the security guard took that as her maybe trying to resist and get away. Multiple security guards restrained Turner on the ground. Portland police showed up to investigate and didn't arrest Turner, but she was kicked out of the hospital. Turner says her biggest fear is that the fight is going to be a core memory for her daughter. She's been having nightmares, waking up out of her sleep, screaming, um, asking me, am I fighting? Am I going to fight? Am I OK? Last July, a man shot and killed a security guard at a legacy hospital, prompting Legacy Health to increase security across all of its locations. Anthony Gentile is an associate director at the John Jay College of Criminal Justice, specializing in private security. He says unclear public expectations for private security can lead to situations like this one. This is a perfect example. I, I've never, frankly, I've never walked into a hospital which where, where a, a bags and packages were going to be inspected. So, you know, I, am I restricting your liberty? I clearly am. Okay, but I'm, I'm only doing that because I've been told to do that by, you know, by my client. Gentile says private security policies over use of force can vary widely. And he pointed out how the legacy guards wear paramilitary uniforms. Clearly, they're they're concerned about prior incidents, and I suspect a a, a police show of force is something they're going to utilize for a while until they feel more comfortable. Legacy Health says it's aware of the troubling incident and is investigating to gather all the facts. Turner says she's still processing it all. I think that it's good for them to protect the hospital but I don't feel that they should treat everybody as a criminal coming in. Turner says she's considering filing a lawsuit, but it's not sure about it just yet. Gentile told me that private security walks a fine line between respecting public liberties and following company orders and clear signage about bag checks and communication about intentions can help de-escalate situations before they start. Tim. Well, interesting, Evan, and tough video to watch too. Thank you.